As a former guitarist for the band Genesis, we had to ask Anthony Phillips if he could ever listen to their music objectively, the stuff he wasn't on. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. You kind of have to wonder if Peter Cetera ever listened to Chicago after he left the band, or could he listen to them objectively? Could he listen to their new stuff? Or Bobby Kimball after he left the band Toto? I've talked to Bobby, he said he could. Does Steve Perry listen to Journey stuff that he's not on? Anthony Phillips was with Genesis for their first two albums, from Genesis to Revelation and Trespass. And a lot of things changed after that. A lot of members left, the band started becoming smaller and smaller. So I asked him for his opinion on the Genesis stuff he was not on. Maybe not always objectively. Uh, I, I, I find I, I, the one album I found difficult to listen to was the trick with Trick of the Tail because I'd done the Geese of the Ghost and the Geese of the Ghost sort of just stayed on the shelf for a while and suddenly they were being they were out on the road being incredibly successful with that and it was absolutely painful for me because the Geese of the Ghost almost didn't come out. So I that one I just found just too painful to listen to. But I've listened to really everything else. And I mean I loved all the albums running up to I thought I thought uh, yeah, I do think that uh, selling in was was the that was the sort of zenith of the Gabriel period. Personally, I really really love that album. I'm not sure I could choose the best one later. That would be difficult. I had to sit more sit and think about that. I think they were arguably more inventive and more creative at that time. But obviously, you know, Phil had a great had a great common you know touch of the common man, and uh, you know some of the latest stuff is um, is very good too. I don't personally think at the end of the day it may last has been quite as original but obviously there are there are a lot of fans of the latest stuff anthony phillips has just re-released his 1980 sort of pop album invisible men you can get it in a two cd set it's remastered and you can pick it up now we'll have more of our chat with anthony phillips coming up next sunday make sure you comment on our video subscribe to our channel and share our videos i'm john bowden from rock history music